Okay, so I'm gonna try to speak into the mic here, but I'm also gonna try to just be a little bit candid. So I'm making this video because like nobody made this video for me and oh my God, I wish they had. Sorry, my tea is like brewing, so you might hear that. Also, if you are what I, I got Fenty, I ordered the Fenty hair shit and this is it, it's in my hair right now. So if you think that this, I didn't do anything except I left, I always have to leave in new conditioners overnight because my hair soaked up conditioner like oxygen. So if you're wondering like, I don't know what my, I don't know what my hair type is. I saw, um, I saw this girl Star Pony. I've been watching her for a while and she posted a video that was like 3B girl pretending to, well, she's like a 4C girl, but she was like cosplaying as a 3B girl. And, now, and so she bought some hair that was 3B and it looked like my hair. So I always assumed my hair was like 4C or like, I knew it was, I felt like it was in four, like whatever the four texture is. So maybe it's like a 4A. I don't know what the hell I have, but if you have a similar hair texture to me, the Fenty shit, I think is pretty nice. Cause all I did was like wash it with the shampoo and then put the, uh, the conditioner in, the mask overnight and fucking leave it, then took it off and walked outside and this is what I got. So, I don't know, this is a, hold on, I'm gonna cut off that one, give me a second. If you guys wanted to see my tea kettle, I made some tea. Actually, let's do that, hold on a second. I had to grab my cup, so we're doing that. Okay, I'm gonna try to talk into the mic because I noticed in some of my other videos, my audio is just, it's real bad. Like even I listen to other videos and I'm like, damn, I can hear the audio so well. And here, I don't even, I barely even know what the fuck I'm saying. Um. Now I noticed some of you guys are here from this video. I actually posted a comment in another video on another woman's channel. Well, she had a, <coughs> sorry, she made a post. She made a video that was about something some Afghani man did. And I've seen other people make videos that were about <clears throat> like what some Indian men are doing. And I've made videos about like kind of cultural Indians and how it's just not the best, like they're just not the best guys. And I even heard Advent Breach talk about how it's not safe for women in India. Cause like, it, like women are being raped there. <laughs> it's like the rape culture is like very common. Um, anyway, so I, I had been seeing these themes for a while and this had to be like a year and a half ago. I started, I looked it up. I started doing research. I'm like, there must be some anthropologist who's studying this. And I found this woman who had written a book that was called like Men from the Developing World. And I was gonna write an album about this. And there were all these themes, like the book is like 600 pages and it's like 14 chapters. And the chapters are fucking very interesting. If you, and so I think what I'm, I was planning to do this, but that the, like I have so many content ideas, it's really hard to like dissect my channel up into different themes, but <clears throat> I realized that like one of the playlists that I've made actually encompasses like the theme of this this channel, which is it's basically me talking about like modern day feminism in America. Like what is it like to live as a single black woman in this country? Because I feel like I've had to figure that out on my own. And each step that I figured out, I am not the best storyteller. So I've told the story in a particular way. Maybe it was like an Instagram post on a Instagram account. Maybe it was like a not well done YouTube video because I have so many videos on this channel. But whatever way I did it, I kind of did it and I feel like other people saw it and other people made better videos about it at that point in time. And then there's TikTok trends and then Mariana, Mariana makes a video that's very clear and precise and like, detailing this theme and now it's like normal talking points right for like youtuber video essays and that's all perfectly fine and dandy yeah i'm really happy i was able to have that growth on my own <laughs> you know like without anyone else um and 
I feel like other people could probably learn from this. So why am I talking about this other woman's post? Well, this other woman ends up posting something where she's basically like, um, she, she posted something on her, it was like a, a story or it was a, a post on her page. Like this is a girl, a woman who, a, a grown woman who posts about like feminism content. Like that's what her channel is about. So first of all, for men to be commenting on the channel anyway is like really fucking strange. <laughs> But, you know, what can we say, right? And so a man comments on the channel, seek mental health. And she makes a post of his comment. She, she said, I blocked him, but I just want to let you guys know, like, this is the sort of vitriol that we're dealing with. And I posted on as a response, like, wow, this is, it's refreshing that you are saying this and showing this to the community. Because, like, I remember when I first started making videos when I, like the, uh, ever since I made this channel, I have been talking to women. Like I, I not, I'm not a channel that's seeking male validation. Like I don't really seek any male subscribers, but there's some videos I made, like women are gross. Like uh, the other videos where I, it's very clear, like dads are in the comments, like, thank you for making this video. Like we had no idea. I'm so happy my black daughter knows this. Like if you're a black dad and you're on this channel, like it kind of makes sense. Like, especially if you're like a black dad of like a, a black girl who's like, she's, she's black, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like there's like, I get it. Like all the shit with the exoticals is going on. And, but if you're just like, just regular and black, like I feel like you'll probably learn a lot from this channel because however you personally feel that I identify, I have, I continue to self-identify in black spaces, but I just, I have like a, a lot, even though people hate, they hate to acknowledge my own privileges, I have a lot of them. And I always like, I use my privileges. Like I don't just let them sit in some closet or something. Like every privilege I've had, I've used. And I think I've gotten things from them. Anyway, well, I mean, some of the, like I said, I've written about myself quite a lot and, and I've, the cool thing about this channel is like everything that has to do with my meritocracy accomplishments in the real world, none of those have been, have contributed in any way to the growth of this channel. People who I know in the real world, some people have organically found the channel, but it's not because I sent it to them, I was advertising to them, I sent, like I, people who I know in the real world, I, I have blocked them on most platforms, not everyone, but kind of like, mutual acquaintances who I'm just, I don't really care what they're doing. I don't share the channel with them. Like, I don't talk about them here. There's no photos of them. <laughs> like, you would think we don't even know each other. Little did you know we worked with each other for like three years, you know what I'm saying? Like, we were in the same organizations for like four fucking years and still, like, I just, I don't personally see, I don't feel that I have anything in common with them. And I wanted to make a very clear space and a very clear delineation that was like, yeah, I am a black woman with, uh, you know, opinions and thoughts about this reality and this world now. And especially when I first came online, I would get comments all the time like, you're so ugly, like, fuck you, like, black women are bald, you look like a man. I got all type of shit that was, it, like, every, like, the, the video would be like, Oh, my personal opinion about the Tinkerbell movie or something. Why I stopped, that video I put in uh, in one of the playlists where I was like, oh, you know, um, why I got off of social media for a while. I deleted some of those comments, but people would come in the comment section and be like, I fucking hate you, I hope you die, like, fuck you, like, it was just crazy shit. It would be like, the video is like not even, pro like, I made problematic videos and I didn't make them for clickbait. I made them because I actually have unpopular opinions that I will stand 10 toes down on. Like, I'm the person, you see these fucking burks, okay? I will sit here and be 10 toes down. Like, I feel this way. This is how I feel. I hate it. I hate it. I don't like her. He gets on my nerves, fuck this person. Like, if I feel that way, you'll hear it from me first. I don't, you won't, you don't have to wonder what, how I feel, I'll tell you. I will fucking tell you. Anyway, so, um, yeah, I got so much hate and, and that was kind of, it was confusing because I'm like, 
Well, the algorithm must push out like my video to sum up. They must know like who other black girls are because the other black girls would be black on camera and making videos. And then I realized it wasn't really until communities started to form, like Khadija kind of started to get way more traction and then other people were making videos about Khadija's content. And we would kind of gather in the comments of Khadija's section or even before Khadija, there was like Saren, who has recently come back online. Thank God for Saren. But these are, I feel like, or Kenya, right? Those are other spaces where like kind of black girls were just gathering in the comment section because it was kind of a safe space. So there weren't really other creators coming out, but it was just more like commenters. And I wish at that point I would have used those comment sections to just like promote my own stuff or to just engage more to just kind of you know just chat more like I would engage sometimes and but I guess I didn't realize that like those spaces were the only spaces at that time and I felt like there was more and there wasn't more but in my mind I was like no there I was like waiting for the algorithm to change okay like fucking John May waiting on the world to change right? I'm waiting on the algorithm to change it's not gonna fucking change what is going to happen, though, is you will consistently put out new cool shit and, like, people will just find you. Sometimes they'll find you from a comment, from a live that you're on. Sometimes it'll be some post that you make and they'll be like, wow, this is cool. Like, there's a million ways that people will find you, but they will and it's cool. And it's okay for them to, like, find you in those ways. And I think you just kind of have to get familiar with the fact that you don't know where your next subscriber is going to come from and the vitriol comments that come are re are real and we've all dealt with that and so the commenter she said like just block delete block delete block delete and I was like oh no, I don't know I guess I felt really hesitant at the time because I personally felt like no I don't want to do that because it feels so good to have any engagement but that is not the right engagement to have and you need to have a very particular boundary that's saying like i would not accept harassment as engagement so i just kind of wanted to say that because i'm sure, i feel like probably there are people probably girls right now all over the world who want to make channels and they're quitting because they're getting those vitriol comments from guys maybe in their own neighborhoods and their own communities who are telling them you're nothing Nobody's gonna watch your channel. Like I've had many guys say that to more, I'm, I'm many of my videos. Nobody watches your channel, nobody cares, fuck you, like you're nothing. They just keep saying that. I'm like, but my content isn't for you. I'm not making content for you. Like, why are you here? And I feel like I've had to become very loud and aggressive with the, with the I'm not making content for you, like, message. <laughs> you know, it's like, the content isn't for you, sir. Like, I'm legitimately not making shit for you. Like, this isn't for you. I don't care what you do. I'm not making content for you. Yeah.